Carrying concealed weapons in the classroom, thousands of students across the country are demanding that right. And now the fight is coming to Florida Atlantic University. That's where News Channel 5's Marissa Bag is live tonight on those efforts. Marissa? Yeah, the group is called Students for Concealed Carry. The students want to be able to bring guns anywhere on college campuses as long as they have the right permit. And it's just getting started here at FAU. In fact, it's so new. Check this out. It's the Facebook page. It was just created 24 hours ago. The ink is barely dry on the form Helen Furtahert filled out to start a pro-gun group on FAU's campus. Students for Concealed Carry has been a national organization for six years, but it's just getting started here in Boca Raton. Almost every other state uh, university in Florida has already had one uh, established. I kind of felt that it's time for FAU to get involved and help out. Students for Concealed Carry argues gun bans on college campuses put students at risk. You are not allowed to defend yourself with the most efficient means necessary um, and that only applies to people who are going to obey the law in the first place. The organization claims six other states are considering legislation to allow professors or students to carry guns on campus. As it stands right now, most universities across the country are gun-free zones. FAU prohibits the use, storage, and possession of weapons on campus. Taking the next step to going up to Tallahassee to, you know, demand our representatives for legislation to allow us to be able to carry on campus. The group is not yet an official organization at FAU, but it's already irking some students. Giving students the freedom to carry a lethal weapon with them uh, is probably not the wisest thing. I don't want to always think in the back of my mind, like, I wonder if the student sitting across the desk for me has a gun on him. Helen argues it's a matter of self-defense. And with the amount of rapes that happen on a college campus, you know, I feel that a lot of women might be, feel more comfortable crossing campus at night if they were able to protect themselves. According to the group's Facebook page, there are already 20 students interested in joining. We did reach out to the university for a statement today, but have not yet received one. Live in Boca Raton, I'm Marissa Bagg, WPTV News Channel 5.